the property is 2,200 acres, just at the foot of Tailtop Mountain, and uh, we breed Angus cattle. We've been here 44 years now. Back in the autumn, we went to a, a field day to look at fencing off farm dams, and but still retaining a hardened access to the dam. That was a finished project that had been probably established 10 years. It was working really well, and it, it looked very aesthetically pleasing, it motivated me to do something. Water quality is something that's important to all life, whether it be livestock or for plant life, such as your pastures, but also for wildlife. And uh, I guess the dry times that we seem to be facing quite a lot now is even more stark. Half a milligram of manure can decrease their water consumption, keep the water cleaner, or we'll grow more cattle. In one dam, we've retained a hardened access with gravel into the dam. The other three, we've excluded the stock entirely those three have a trough outside of the excluded area and we can put bloat oil in the trough which helps to prevent bloat for the cattle. So the hardened access point uh, reduces pugging of the cattle on the dam edge which helps keep the water cleaner. Having an access point, there's no moving parts so nothing can go wrong. Having a trough does introduce a little bit of risk. During times like this where there's not a lot of water in the landscape, Often farm dams are places where aquatic animals and plants can find a home until conditions improve for them to return to other areas like wetlands and creeks. Enhancing biodiversity in farm dams is not just great for biodiversity in its own right, but it has a huge effect on how the landscape functions. The dragonflies and damselflies that breed in the dam will out, go out and forage out in the pastures eating aphids and other pest insects. The frogs that breed in the dam, the thousands of tadpoles that hatch out, that eat all the nutrients that accumulate there, will get eaten by other species and that'll spread that nutrient back across the landscape. So it's really important in nutrient cycling. A lot of native plants start to come in, particularly um, uh, the water plants, such as your juncus and bulrushes, and the water cooch, which you, you probably already see on this dam starting to come up. Now, as soon as you have that, the um, insects start to have a substrate to lay eggs and uh, breed in these places. Frogs have a place to hide and lay their eggs and the birds come in to feed on these things. So they really do become these biodiversity hotspots in these agricultural landscapes. Yeah, I see an opportunity with the farm dam to, to obviously provide a valuable water source for the animals, an environment for, for wildlife and also increase the aesthetic appeal of, of the dam. There are a lot of benefits that farmers get from doing works on their farm dam. I think the thing that motivates a lot of farmers is the productivity benefits they get from farm dam enhancements. But we've also heard from a lot of people that the aesthetic benefits they get from an enhanced farm dam really improves their farm overall and provides, I guess, a green space for them to come to, particularly during droughts. It made me feel good to be doing something positive. Digging out this two metres of silt in the bottom of the dam that we could try and prevent that in the future and keep the dam deeper, cooler and have water for longer. There's a lot of hard slog during a drought feeding animals so it felt good to be doing something positive. So we hope in time that we've improved the aesthetics of the dam area. Uh, we'll have a nice you know, shaded water source uh, with some nice plants and some more increased bird life.